Welcome to the Storm Surf Video Surf Forecast for the Indian Ocean for the week starting Sunday, March 23rd. Brought to you by Kandui Resort in the Mentawi Islands, an excellent surf destination. First up, we take a look at the significant wave height charts for the Indian Ocean. We see uh, Typhoon Jillian, Cyclone Jillian actually, heading south. Um, also, a small area of 24. Four foot seas south of the Mentawi Islands, and then another system trying to develop under southern Africa. We'll take a quick look at the jet stream. Jet stream level winds above 30,000 feet, 250 millibar. Uh, these winds support the formation of storms and gales, and they also direct the path of those storms when they form. Right now we have pretty much a zonal flow, flow, a bit of a trough trying to get going here in the South Indian Ocean, uh, but not a whole lot of strong winds pushing up into it. Basically a flat west-east flow. If anything, it's sort of pushing towards the south a little bit. Put this in motion, see what plays out over the next several days. This trough here it gets a little bit more wind going into it, maybe almost 140 knot winds on uh, on Monday, but then pretty much washes out pretty quick. Another uh, a ridge pushing south here, hard south, with a bit of a trough trying to get uh, forming in front of it 72 hours out, but doesn't make a whole lot of progress to the north. It basically continues on a flat uh, west to east track and uh, right off of Antarctica, not a whole lot of room for development there. Continue on, another big ridge building in, pushing into Antarctica by uh, Friday and sweeping south, uh, continuing just about through the end of the model here, and that's about it. So that doesn't give a whole lot of space for storm development. Next we'll take a look at surface level pressure, surface level winds. Most obvious, Typhoon Jillian, again heading south, 110 knot winds. Basically all this fetch is pushing away from Mentawes, Indonesia, um, actually pushing perhaps some swell towards uh, um, west, uh, Western Australia. Uh, let's put this into motion, see how it plays out. Oh, further south also, again this little low here, uh, pretty much due south of uh, Indonesia. Little bit of fetch there, not really aimed up very well into eh, 193 degree path. But most of the energy looks to be going more east than north. Um, we'll put this into motion, see how it plays out. That one's quickly gone. It builds, but it doesn't build till it's under Australia, out of the picture. Next system pushing under Africa. Let, let's actually go back. 35, 40 knot winds. Notice the wind vectors all going south. So that's not really doing much. It sort of evens out, turns into more of a zonal flow. That's good for uh, Western Australia um, up those Great Circle Pass, but not very strong winds, not even good enough for maybe 12 or 13 second period swell. Put that into motion. Jillian is gone by about Tuesday. Fetch kind of settles out everywhere across the South Indian Ocean. Another system tries to get going, but notice this is on uh, Thursday. That trough and that ridge is pushing south. It crashes right into Antarctica. And then remnants of it try to get going in another small trough here. This is as of Friday. 45 knot winds. Let's take a look. Going up into Bali. A little bit, uh, 199 degree track, Mentawi Islands, about 198. Uh, Western Australia, a bit better would be the guess. Uh, yeah, more direct path, 210 there. Um, roll this out, but it kind of fades out just as quick. Secondary fetch tries to form as well, again, but this is a eh, 193 degree path up into uh, Bali. And Mentali Islands, probably a degree less or so, 194, 193. Um, kind of moving at an angle, not so good. Still perhaps a 14 second or so, 15 second period swell pushing up that way. And that moves out and then we're into 180 hours and that's it. So that's kind of... Not a particularly great uh, pattern for the week, but not bad. There's some hope for swell, a little bit pushing up that way. Let's go look at significant wave heights. Here we go, significant wave height chart. Notice seas associated with Jillian uh, heading south. Put this into motion. 
moving away a bit more towards Western Australia, if anything. There you go on that path. Uh, what is that? About 300 or so. It's kind of obscured, hard to read. Um, but we'll put this on out. Oh, this system. Let's go back and check out the system that was under. There you go. Very small area, 24 foot seas. Gets up to about 30 foot, but relative to Bali, it's pretty much it's totally shadowed. And Mentalia Islands, little bit there, but most of the energy looks like it's moving parallel or perpendicular to the pass. Not a whole lot pushing up that way. If anything, Western Australia would. Yeah, it's even past Western Australia, so you're into uh, Southern Australia now. Best, best bets there for sure, Bell's area. Anyway, this rolls out. There you go. And it even builds more towards this area, uh, southwest, uh, southeastern Australia, Tasmania. Um, and we roll this out. Another system, here we go, under uh, South Africa on Monday. Very close to Antarctica. Maybe not, uh, not ice lock, though. Uh, ice is well retreated this time of year. Uh, sort of pushing up towards the Mentali Islands, but not not great, and a good distance away, and that pretty much gets snuffed out by the jet. We're out into 84 hours. We're into Thursday, Friday. Another little system. Here we go. Later Friday towards uh, Bali, Mentali Islands. Um, about the what is that? 190 degree track or so. 30 foot seas. Tiny area, 32 foot seas, maybe good for 16, 17 period sideband swell with a little bit of luck. Maybe focused best on Western Australia, indeed. And then we roll this out, and that system regenerates more, more energy, West, just barely on the edge of Western Australia. And again, like we noticed before, really um, Victoria area, pushing right up the Great Circle paths there, and then you're out of it. So... Um, Mainly the focus is under Australia this week. Uh, good swell, though, for sure, Tasmania, that area, something to monitor. Um, up towards Mentales and Bali, not so much. More sideband energy, fun size swell, but nothing uh, large and outstanding yet. It's still quite early in the season, though. So that wraps it up for this week. We'll do the, the Indian uh, Ocean forecast again next week, same time, same channel. And many thanks to Ken Dewey Resort in the Mentali Islands for bringing you this Indian Ocean video surf forecast. Thank you.